Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're going to pull the hubcap off. We're going to use a pry bar. You can try to grab it with your fingers and pull. It's a little tricky. Grab a pry bar or a straight blade screwdriver. Get in behind here and just pry it out. Pull it off. Next we'll take a 21 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. We're going to crack the lug nuts free before we raise the vehicle. Now we're going to raise and support the vehicle. We're using a two post lift. You can use the jack and jack stands. Now I'll take these lug nuts off. Now pull the tire off. I'm going to use a 14 millimeter wrench. I'm going to take these two caliper bolts out. That one out. You can take the top one out. All right, so I'm going to compress the caliper a little bit. I'm just going to use a screwdriver, get it between the rotor and the caliper, and just pry it in a little bit. That's just going to push some of the fluid back so that it can slide off the caliper easily. Then I'm going to take a bungee cord. And I'm going to slide it through the spring right here. And I'm going to loop it into the caliper holes. And that'll hang on the side so we don't put any stress on the uh, brake hose. Next, we're going to take these spring retainers out. These kind of push the pads out from the rotor. Just pull them up, set them aside because we're going to reuse them. Pull those out. Next we can pull the pads off. Just slide it out. And then slide the outside one out. The inboard one has a squealer on it on the top side. The outboard one does not. Next I'm going to take a 17 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. I'm going to take these two caliper bolts off. These generally are on pretty tight, so. Then I'm gonna use a 17 millimeter socket and a ratchet once those are broken free. Pull that bolt out and pull this bottom one out. And we can pull the bracket off. I'm going to remove this rotor. If you grab it and it pulls right off, that's good. This one's on there a little bit harder, so I'm going to take a hammer and just hammer it right in those locations.
Now that it's loose, you can pull the rotor off. We're gonna clean this caliper. We're gonna use a wire brush to clean the slides. Right here, right here. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. And then I'm gonna take the, these pad slides off. Just use a screwdriver. And we'll clean underneath there as well. We're going to reuse our these pad slides, or sometimes they call them anti-rattle clips. So we'll just clean these up. They're not in too bad shape. Install that. Those are good. And we'll do the same procedure for the other side. Next, we're gonna, next I'm going to pull this caliper slide out. We're going to take some brake parts cleaner and a rag. Clean this up. And also in the hole on the caliper bracket. Spray some brake parts cleaner in there. We'll clean that up. Take our rag, get in there and clean it. Now I'm gonna take some brake caliper grease, grease up this slide pin, and I'll do the same for the other one. I'm going to install the rotor, install the caliper bracket, just slide it over and put the caliper bracket bolts back in, get those started. I'm going to use a 17 millimeter socket and a ratchet. We'll just snug these up before I torque them. Now we're going to use a torque wrench and torque these to 62 foot pounds. Install these brake pads. The one with the squealer goes on the inside, and the squealer is going to go up. And the the other one without the squealer goes on the outside. going to take these pad return springs. I'm going to slide this into the hole on the pads and then that one as well. We'll do the same with the bottom one. Slide that in there. That right there. Just like that. Now we're going to remove the bungee cord holding our caliper up. Pull that out from the spring. take this old brake pad and we're going to use this um, caliper compressor tool we got from 1aauto.com. We'll line this up. Now it's a good idea to check the brake fluid level before you compress this. Um, if the brake fluid level is at the top, you're going to want to adjust it. Um, take some out a little bit before you compress this. If it's about halfway, then you're good. And then we're going to compress this and slowly brake fluid is going to go through the lines, back up to the master cylinder and back into the reservoir. Now 
Now once that um, piston is compressed into the caliper, we're gonna slide that back onto the brake caliper bracket. And install these caliper bolts. Next, we're gonna tighten these up with a 14 millimeter socket and a torque wrench, and we're gonna to torque these to 20 foot-pounds. Now we're gonna put the tire and wheel on, line it up with the lugs, and put the nuts on. Now I'm going to torque these using a 21 millimeter socket and a torque wrench to 84 foot pounds and I'm going to torque it in a star pattern or a cross pattern so that the wheel gets tightened down evenly. Next we're going to install the hubcap. You want to line this little groove up with the valve stem so it's in the right position. Just Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. Just give it a little tap. Could use a rubber mallet if you need to. Get that back on. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.